What's up, y'all? We're back. We're back. We're back. So, basically, headed to the gym. Started off the day with, like, back-to-back meetings. Just joined a new brokerage. Joined EXP. So, I was doing a lot of the, um... The team is called, like, Super Agents. But definitely doing a lot of that training in the beginning of the day getting training on how to recruit other agents under my team just a lot of back-to-back meetings that were pretty much exhausting um, even though it's early in the day but we are on our way we have our trusty NutriShop pre-workout right that will give me all the energy I need for the rest of the day we're going to be working glutes calves and abs some accessory work accessory work for some reason, um, not for some reason, I guess like for me, it's been way more important to focus in on accessory work. And accessory work is just like anything outside of like your big muscle groups, your back, your chest, your legs, like your, your quads, hams, shoulders. I would say that those are like the main dominant ones. Accessory works are like your abs, your calves. Um, your glutes, things like that, that really like take you over the edge. Like if you're competing and you look very similar to the next guy, you know, the judges may start looking at your calves to see, you know, okay, is he just overall a little bit more muscular, even if their poses are very similar, their body composition is very similar. Um, and then the accessory work can take you over the edge and it helps for a more proportioned, healthy, balanced look. So I definitely want to focus in on that today, put a lot of energy on that. I have another meeting call for a person who's going to be listing their house with me, but the home is an affordable housing home. So I have a meeting call with the housing authority of the county to basically educate me on exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Um, like the best practices for how to sell a affordable housing home because there's strict qualifications and strict situations on how much profit you can make if you own an affordable housing so there's strict qualifications and processes on how you can list a property for the through affordable well through affordable housing because it's supposed to be affordable all right so we got that at one i might have to interrupt the gym session a bit to handle that then we have another showing in elizabeth colorado at 5 p.m We have a meeting with one of my sellers at 3.15-ish to do a, just like a quick, like, walkthrough of their house to see if there's anything that we can do to improve the the appeal for a new buyer. So, pretty full day. Then this evening, I'm going to do some more singing. Probably bring you guys along for that. More singing. More show practice work. Maybe even make a song. Might make a song tonight, depending on what the energy level is talking about. But tomorrow I have an early day as well, so maybe not. Depends. It's been it's been a good little good little week. Good little week of vlogging. This should be day seven, if I'm not mistaken. No, this should be day eight, I think. I haven't posted my day seven yet. But yeah, day, this should be days. So we have officially a week in on vlogging, and I think it's definitely been more of a benefit than a detriment right to my time attention energy discipline so the only detriment i could say to vlogging that i found out so far is just the amount of time it takes to like upload and put it together um but then again that time i typically would have spent just like on netflix or something unproductive um but the benefits definitely treating you guys as an accountability partner like i'm like whoa they're gonna know that i didn't do something on this day because I referenced it in the last video or it's the next day and there's no video out, they're gonna know I slacked on this. So like, I like that idea of staying very consistent. And my personal goal for vlogging is at least one year of consistent videos pretty much every single day. Um, but deciding if we do weekends or not, we may not do weekends sometimes, um, but there'll be at least 300 videos by next year, at least what 315 i think or so if we don't do weekends but yeah bunch of videos bunch of videos done by next year um just for the pure express purpose of flexing maintaining building 
cultivating the discipline muscle. That is what the goal is. It's not for YouTube subscribers. It's not for social media subscribers. I think it's for pure, actually, it's for pure discipline and then a personal diary, um, sharing thoughts. And of course, like if I'm entertaining and if you guys are watching it, I definitely am not going to make it so personal to where you can't relate and it's not going to be entertaining. I'm going to do my best. Um, and maybe like I'll be able to share some inspiration, share some motivation as you see success on this side because we're definitely on that realm of success where it's now just a tumble effect and it's everything we do is just getting bigger and brighter and more successful and more purposeful. Um, we're definitely not at the beginning stages of success over here. Very, very grateful and blessed to say that. Um, but we're also not where we want to be, right? So always having a goal in front is the idea. So that's what we're doing. We're going to hit the gym, get some accessory work in there. We officially picked our show May 5th, sorry, May 3rd, the Branch Warren Classic in Aurora, Colorado. It's a show that I'm going to be really gearing up to do. So we got five months to get thick as absolute fuck. And I'm um, take you guys the whole step of the way. See you at the gym. Here we got the little hip abduction. Knees work on the cheeks. Since we're working cheeks today, this is an essential business. Second workout of the day. Feel it. Striations in my ass. I'm going crazy. Sorry. It's a little graphic. But no, I feel the blood rushing in. I feel. I can't even say half of the stuff I'm trying to say because it's going to sound sus. So let me just shut up and work out. What I really do though, constructively, is I do squeeze at the top and at the bottom of the rep to make it a little harder on myself. <laughs> And to give it a little bit more gains. Back to calves. Super setting. Hip abduction and calf raises. After this, I'll check the angle to make sure y'all can see it properly. Yeah, just looked at the angle of the calves, bro. You literally didn't see a single calf muscle in that whole thing. What a disgrace. The next angles will be better. Whew. That was some good hip abduction. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> now this, this is a better angle for calves. Y'all will actually get to see calf muscles. 
calf muscles doing their thing. Or, you know, at least trying to grow. Last set alert. I think our hips are warm. Very warm. Here we go for some hip thrust work. I like these because this is a good applicable motion workout. You know, like a lot of like athletic individuals, basketball players, Olympians, things like that use hip thrusts to strengthen their hips, but it's an applicable motion. So I'm just 25. Go easy. Squeeze the cheeks on the way up. Solid. Solid. And boom, boom, bap. Boom, boom, bap. We're ready for second. For the second set. We're ready. We're ready. This is crushing my nuts. Ouch. Yeah, I gotta adjust this. Set number three. Ouch. Yes, we are back. Once more to call upon the game's creatures to infuse us with their monstrousness, their grit. I don't know, I'm just yapping. Let me get start work at it. Oh, she's, she's not even. Here we go. Oh, 
that was spicy. Mm. A good spice. <sighs> Final set alert. Not really sure how much this is, but all I know is that it's a lot for me. And that means it's going to give me gains. So who cares? Who cares? Who cares? That's about right. Wee wee. <sighs> I could do more, but that hurts. That's a question. The things. It's not worth all that. Got a little low back workout for y'all. Get this frame right. It's low back, but it also is a good glute workout. If you're pulling, going down with your cheeks, pulling up with your cheeks, it's a good tie-in workout for your hamstrings as well. So that's what we're using it for. Squeezing at the top. Nice. Very nice. Back for set number two. I like to do body weight a little bit on this because it's just like I've tweaked my lower back before. Maybe it's just some PTSD, maybe some laziness. I feel like I still am getting a good solid workout in with just my body weight doing these. My lower back gets tight really fast. But we're still gonna work it. If I was doing a back workout, I would have weights to really emphasize what I'm trying to focus on the hamstrings and glutes. Let's fuck it. Oh, yep. That's taxi. Taxi. You know what? I looked back at the footage and I really feel like I sounded like a whole ass bitch. So we will do this next set with weights. I'm going to have to hop off real quick to take a meeting call. And then your boy will be back on for the conclusion of the glute, hamstring, abs, calves workout, accessory work. Unless the meeting call takes you long, then this is what you get. But just know I love you guys.
Oh, it's time. I gotta go. Love y'all, though. For the moment y'all all been waiting for. <laughs> we got big glute workouts, so... Don't stare too hard. I'm not giving you the back angle for a reason. I want y'all to pass out from the double cheeked up -ness. It's like they're not good cheeks right now, but they will be. I don't even know if this is good framing, but we'll fix it. Gotta have good good glutes to compete. Striated glutes. The back wins competitions and the glutes are part of the back. <laughs> Sheesh, all over. Yeah, we like that. How's it looking? I think I'm only going to film one of these. If this is frame right, I'm probably only going to do one of these just because I don't want to have the camera pointed up the whole time. People walking by might get upset. I do not want to cause a disruption. I'm going to do three sets of these. And we're back, live from Madison Square Garden. All right, so I think that this angle is the best angle for you guys not to get a face full of cheeks, but also see good quality form. These are called good mornings. Good for hamstring and cheek development. I don't typically do these, so we'll see if I have good form. About shoulder width apart. Slightly bend your knees, but nothing crazy, and then you just kind of let your hamstrings and glute take over. further down on my traps. Yeah, that's much easier. It doesn't make me feel like I'm about to get decapitated. Let's see what the next set brings. Yep, so I could not. I looked at the footage and I have to change the angle on y'all. The form was not forming. You guys could not see it, so. You're welcome and you are sorry. You're about to get a face full of cheeks. But all in the name of science, all in the name of good quality fitness form educational purposes don't stare too hard at it is it called good mornings My hamstrings feel much looser after doing this, the first set of this.
Last set alert. Last set ski. Alert of your ski. Okay, here it goes. Really focusing on the glutes on this one. Squeezing at the top. Focusing on the hamstrings as well a little bit. Focusing on the big stretch. All right. Should have calves after this, and that'll be it. We have breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Brandon Matoyer, the face of dual licensing, is making a major move to the Super Agents Collaborative, powered by EXB Realty. This partnership with Brandon and the world's largest real estate platform is guaranteed to supercharge his business growth and unlock new opportunities in international markets. Welcome to the Super Agents Collaborative, Brandon. The best is yet to come.